start off with, how much did Tuesday night please you? Oh, it pleased me so much. You know, it was a, a brilliant performance. I thought from start to finish, we we showed great attitude and and took the game to Bromley. Um, it were it were a good opposition. You know, they're a good team, good manager, and and. Um, they put in a real shift as well, so it's a really good, entertaining game of football, in my opinion. And, but I do think we we deserve the win. Obviously, plenty to play for as a league. It's still quite tight in and around the playoff positions. You're saying it's too soon to get carried away. Are the players listening to you? Well, I hope so. I, I, I just said after the game, you know, we we took it um, in a calm way. We tried to be calm in the approach after after we lost against Ebbs Fleet, and um, we knew there were a lot of points to play for and. Equally, you know, the other night, in those circumstances, it's going to be emotional, isn't it? Because um, you want it so much, but we've still got to move on in a calm way and, and just uh, display a consistency, both in training and, um, and, and obviously in each game. Uh, and ne the next test is Braintree now, and um, it'll be another difficult game, we're sure. And it's, it's about the attitude. Can we show that consistency of effort and of attitude and just stick to the task from now to the end of the season. You've obviously been thrilled as well with the clean sheets you've had in the in the last few games here and there. How how big a deal has that been for you trying to get back on that track again? Well, I, I, I think the lads who've come into it and uh, the, they've played the last three games have really done as proud in terms of really been adding a, a grit and tenacity and about the team and giving them as a solid base to build from. And I think the whole team have shown tremendous collective effort um, to make sure we're more compact and um, we squeeze up play and we work hard and everyone's got a role to play wherever it is the, the ball is and we moved in relation to that and um, made it made us harder to beat the last three games. Now we have to keep going but um, yeah, the, the, the players deserve a lot of credit on the back of that Ebbs Fleet game where we did concede a lot of chances to score um, to, the, um, to being a lot more miserly which, is, which was the aim. Now you've had a very settled side over the last three games. No substitutions the other night. So how do you play things going forward? Is it time to maybe rotate again, give players a rest with, with two games, three games in a week? Well, uh, we, we're going on intuition, really. And, and we looked at the players the other night and I thought every player out there wasn't below an 8 out of 10. And even if they, yeah, we couldn't see any kind of dip in energy, and that's why we didn't change it. And you can change for change sake, really, sometimes. And... And you're looking at it thinking, well, they're all doing it, we're all pressing forward, we are creating chances in right throughout the game, so it's just about executing a finish. So there's no need to change it. Um, and I thought the lads deserved to see the game out. Unfortunately for us, we, we got our break in the 93rd minute. Um, we've had a very we've had a day off. The lads who played the other day for the whole game uh, have just had a, a loosener and the other lads have trained with real tenacity today so everyone's chomping at the bit right now now we'll judge Saturday and again there's no need to um, act to anything other than consistent with the players send them out again uh, then it's down to them now if they appear tired then we have to take action but if not and they're showing um, great capacity to you know and great appetite in the game um, then there's we'll judge it we'll judge it from there at this stage of the season, would you expect your players to be able to back up a performance like that on Tuesday and go again on Saturday? Well, I think there's so much to play for, um, and there's actually not too many games left. You know, of course, the, you go back to back games and Tuesday, Saturday, and and then then it's a Saturday, then a Tuesday, and um, but these are fit lads. You know, we're full time, and uh, so much can be made of our resting players and, and rotating these days. And, OK, players have a dip, but if you're playing an 8 out of 10, 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10, then the last thing you want is to be rested. Um, and the last thing you probably feel is too tired to play. Um, so um, as long as the players keep going and, and um, show no signs of dipping or, or strain, then there can be no real reason to chop and change for the sake of it. So the players that weren't involved, the injured players, how is everyone? Yeah, um, the, the players... Uh, Joe Leesley, Dylan Motley Henry, um, to name to name those two Jack Senior uh, players who missed out, um, have shown great attitude in training today. You know you can't fault them at all. Um, after all, 
those three players were fit for selection um, and declared themselves fit. So, you know, we, we have to judge them in training if they're not in the game. And, and to be fair, they trained really well today. And I, I think that's so important. And you see in other sports, sometimes in, for example, rugby, where um, a midweek team really drives on, you know, for example, in the, in the Lions, they drive on that, you, you know, team that's starting for the first team. And, and that's what they've got to do. If they don't drive them on, then you know this starting eleven suffers, um, and but if anyone slips up, we know, full in the knowledge that those three are very, they're equipped to play. They've got the right mindset and attitude to step in, and then it'll be their turn to take advantage of the situation. But to give it patience, it's not easy for any footballer sitting on the sidelines, and we've got some good players sitting on the sidelines at the minute. It's probably the first time this season that we've been blessed with so many players fit and raring to go. Still a couple of injuries. Dominic Knowles is who I'm thinking of mainly. Yeah, Dominic Knowles is the one that's um, missing out through injury now, um, and it, it'll still be probably a month or so before he's even in contention, which is a shame because he's a, you know he's, a, he's played a massive contribution for this club over the last couple of years. So on to Braintree, your opponents, bottom of the table, but it's sides like this that you need to be sure you're really up for, isn't it? Well, it's a test of character. They'll be scrapping for their lives. Um, I know they're taking a lot of good teams right to the wire in games and we expect no um, you know, no mercy at all that they, re they really will be going for us on Saturday they had a large share of possession the other night and who count themselves on looking not to come away with at least a draw so you know we can't take them lightly but we've got to make sure the preparation is bang on for the players um, we're staying over tomorrow night in Cambridge and then it will be down to the players as long as the preparation is right to then go on uh, give it everything they've got just as we did the other night and hopefully we'll come out on top.